Stand and account for yourself, Acolyte. Let's see what you're made of. I look at you, and I wonder, are you among the truly loyal, or do you hide treason in your heart? I am heir to a great Sith bloodline. How dare you even ask such a question of me? I do what the Emperor commands me to. Your special heritage does not place you above suspicion, nor should it. Intelligence reports indicate this valley shelters traitors. Acolytes who seek to destroy our Emperor's carefully built order and replace it with their own weak-minded heresies. They hide among the faithful and obedient. But make no mistake, they will destroy us all, given the chance. We've watched as the traitors scuttle about this valley and plot against us. We know their faces and their names. It is the Emperor's will that the sands of Korriban be slaked with the blood of these traitors. Prove your allegiance by executing them. It will be a great honor to serve you, my lord. And in serving me, you serve the Emperor. Remember that as you exterminate those vermin in the valley. I'll give you the means to identify the traitors. Eliminate enough of them to prove your loyalty. Then return to Inquisitor Arzanen. I'll be watching your progress with great interest. Go now. See that the Emperor's will be done.
took some work. Boom! I watched you deal with those traitors. Well done. That was an impressive display of loyalty. Take this reward as a token of the Emperor's favor, and wear this badge. It marks you as a defender of our Empire. Stay vigilant. Our enemies lurk where you least expect them. Service, my lord. Travel route is confirmed. Looking to upgrade your arsenal? Good hunting. Hey, friend. If you're headed out by the Tukata, Lord Varrison is paying actual credits for bone marrow samples. Varrison's doing some sort of experiment for Lord Renning. The less details we know, the better I'm sure.
Ah, more bone marrow samples. Lord Renning will be pleased. You may go. A fresh, young acolyte come to view my experiments. Good. I trust the sight of a messy operating table doesn't disturb you? I have no fear of dead things. All fine and good, but lack of fear and genuine interest are not the same. This used to be a Tukata, the hound-like creatures infesting Korriban's tombs. On the surface, nothing special. But I alone can see this creature is an expression of pure dark side energy. Aggression made manifest. Amazing. How did you learn that? The Force told me so. It speaks to me. The Force is alive. It expresses its will in the physical world. This Tukata was one such form. Are we another of these forms? Sith are the highest manifestation of the Force's will. I've dissected hundreds of Tukata, forging a direct connection to the dark side. Each beast I examine advances me toward perfect unity. I now stand at a new frontier, but find myself thwarted. My most perfect specimen, a Tukata mutant, escaped to the tombs before I could analyze it. Perhaps I could help recover your specimen. Yes, I was hoping as much. My apprentice, Malora, saw which tomb the mutant beast fled into. Find out what she knows. Assist me, and you will be rewarded. I'll speak with Melora and do whatever is necessary, my lord. You found a great calling in my service. I trust you appreciate that. Seeking Lord Renning's lost pet, are you? <laughs> Don't waste your time. That fool's research is pointless. Tell me how you know this. My master is insane. Wasn't it obvious when you spoke to him? Renning deludes the Dark Council into believing he's advancing Sith knowledge. The truth is, he wastes the Empire's time and resources dissecting mindless animals. But if his experiments were discredited, he would be banished, and I would be rewarded. What am I supposed to do about it? Look, just a minor alteration to the mutant Tukata's brain would allow me to reveal my master as a fraud. Bring me the brain before delivering it to Lord Renning, and I'll make it worth your while. I might be interested. Perfect. Then we have an agreement. The mutant Tukata escaped to the tomb of Mark of Ragnos. It's much larger than the others, so it's easy to spot. Return to me with the brain before you see Lord Renning, and I'll take care of the rest.
Sergeant Garris, turns out the rumors were true. Some of the sentries we lost down here aren't dead. They lost their minds, just like the Acolytes. Doesn't mean we're going to have any easier a time getting the research supplies back, though. The crates are secured with multi-locks. If we're going to open these things without frying the contents, we need to get all the sentries' code cylinders back. I don't think negotiation is an option. The men aren't keen to take down their old comrades, but we'll do what we can. Once we have the code cylinders, we'll crack open the supply crates and get back. Take one out. Have you recovered the mutant Takata brain yet? I'm eager to conclude the business we discussed. It's all yours. Enjoy. Excellent. This chemical will make it appear as though Renning is falsifying his research. There. All that remains is for me to whisper the right words in the wrong ears. I'm transferring credits to your account now. Give Renning the brain and collect his reward too. You've made out quite well. I did this for the greater good of the Empire. But you'll take my credits, won't you? Planning to donate them to the Imperial Orphanage, hmm? We shouldn't be seen speaking again. Lord Renning might suspect us. Give him the brain. You have the brain at last. Excellent work. I trust it wasn't too much trouble. I punished the foul creature for the trouble it caused you. My apprentice, Melora, could learn from your example. She's much too soft-hearted. I must continue my research at once. Great discoveries await. Take a reward and go. It gave me great pleasure. Yes, yes, you may stop talking now. Goodbye. <laughs>